Another thing we can get from Bernoulli's equation is Torricelli's theorem, which I'm exerting all of my willpower to not pronounce it Torricelli. I'll do the best I can. We'll find the speed of the fluid flowing from an open spigot some distance below the top of an open tank. If you think about a Gatorade tank or one of those cooler things with the spigot on the front, when it's full, it comes out fast. As it drops down, it comes out slower and slower as you pull the little thing, and then you end up having to tip it and whatever. And there's a theorem that says why that happens, and it turns out to be a special case of Bernoulli's equation. So we'll draw a diagram of a cooler with a spigot coming down here, and you have some pressure head, H, that's making stuff flow. We can label our two states, one and two, where we have pressure one that's atmospheric, and pressure two is also atmospheric. We now have to think about the velocity. We care about the velocity of the output flow, V2. What's the velocity of our input flow? If this is a large container here, the average linear speed of flow is approximately zero. I mean, it's very slightly moving downward, but compared to how fast it's coming out here, it should be approximately zero here. So we'll say that our average linear velocity of flow is zero there. And now this simplifies our Bernoulli's equation expression because pressure two is equal to pressure one, so they can cancel and v1 is zero. Now we want to find our speed of fluid, which is v2, and we can do that because now we have an expression that has v2 and it has this rho g y2 and rho g y1. When we move to the same side, give us that rho g h. So we'll do that. We'll move it to the same side, one half rho v2 squared is equal to rho g y1 minus y2, and then we'll multiply by two and divide by rho to get v2 by itself, and then square root to get v2 is equal to the square root of 2gh. And this turns out to work pretty well, that the speed of flow, the average linear speed of flow that you get coming out the bottom of that spigot is equal to the square root of twice gravity times the height of the fluid above where that spigot is.